Hi everybody and welcome to another in our series of MCQ revision questions. We take a particular topic and a single exam question that you can have a go uh, before we look at the answer and the reason. This question is about increasing returns. Here's the question. The table below shows the inputs of two factors of production, labour and capital. Uh, they're needed to produce varying levels of output. And the question is over which range of output do increasing returns of scale occur? Have a go. So this question is about increasing returns. Uh, what's happening is we're changing the inputs of production. I've done a quick calculation on the right hand side here. That's the percentage change in inputs on the right hand side of labour and capital. And on the left hand side I'm going to do a calculation of percentage change in output. And there we can see output uh, rising by 100%, then 50%, then 33%, then 25%. Now the key to this question is to understand increasing returns to scale. And they happen when a firm is increasing its factors of production, land and labour and capital, but the percentage increase in output on the left-hand side here is greater than the percentage increase in input on the right-hand side. So we're looking for a combination where the change in output in percentage terms is bigger than the change in inputs. We should find that it's when we move from output uh, 200 to 300. That's a 50% increase in output. That's resulted from a 40% increase in inputs. Capital has gone up from 10 to 14. Labour from 20 to 28. That's a 40% increase in inputs. But output has gone up by 50%. So the change in output from 200 to 300 is where increasing returns happens. Just to show that, if we then move on, where we go from three, we go from 14 units of capital to 20, and from 28 units of labour to 40, that's a 42% increase in inputs. But we only get a 33% change in output. That's decreasing returns to scale, and you've probably come across that. That's also called a diseconomy of scale. So to the answer, the answer to this question uh, is B.